What's up, everybody? We're going to get into the next series of uh, uh, career agent missions here. And I think we're going to start into exploration just to see a little bit of something different with the game. We got a few skills learned, so that's good. Cosmic Anomalies, one of five. So let's see. Uh, welcome, Scattered Marbles. Let's make an explorer out of you. Sounds good. Once you've undocked into space, enable your sensor overlay and look around for a location named Anomaly Training Site. This is a cosmic anomaly, which means it'll be easy to find. All right, easy to find. Warp to it, and I'll give you further instructions once you've made it there. Don't worry about combat. We've cleared out the area for you. Declining a mission from a particular agent more than one. Okay, yeah. All right, so it says... Enable your sensor overlay and look for a location called Anomaly Training Site. This is a cosmic anomaly. Okay, we're going to use the ship that we're in right now. And Ella sends her regards. We've got ships in the drone bay. We've got a little bit of ammo to work with. We've got a bunch of random crap here. And we're sitting on three and a half million ISK. So you probably should have around that much money right now, uh, if not a little more or less. So just based on your mission running and salvaging activities. I haven't sold anything to the market, so I haven't really... Everything I've done on this character, for the most part, you've seen me do. So, uh, you and I should be about on the same level. So we're gonna come out here, we're gonna look for this cosmic anomaly. I don't need to really look at my inventory for that, so I'm gonna undock. We'll keep this up, just to keep ourselves clear. Alright. I guess I should move the microphone so it's a little bit closer. There we go. All right, we're going to close that, move that up and out a little bit. Now, it said to look at our scanner. Now, since the, the text is pretty much gone away, I will show you how to find that. Down here where it says scanners, which is right next to your readout, and if the button's not there, yellow bell, hey. if the button isn't there, Realize that you have a button right here that hides those buttons and shows them. So if it's missing, go ahead and find this little hide, hide show buttons thing. Tap the scanners and you have a probe scanner and a directional scanner and a solar system map. So I will open up the probe scanner and it opens up like this and it shows you the map. To figure out whether you're seeing cosmic anomalies or not, it's under the filtered area. So I don't have a launcher fitted, so I can't search for signatures, which you see here. You have to scan those down, uh, and we'll get into that in a later mission. But right now, it wants us to find anomalies. So let me remove the cosmic signatures just so that it's easier. And it wants us to find, let's see, an anomaly training site. All right, we're just going to pick a random one here. And there's a warp to button on the far right side. Or I can right click on it anywhere and warp to it there. I'll probably pick this one down at the bottom just because people are probably also doing the same mission in the area that I'm in and I want to avoid them. So, so when you see anomalies here, it can be um, an ore site, which is like a, a site to mine in that isn't listed under asteroid belts. It can be a combat site, which this one won't actually have combat in it, but a combat site generally will be like a, a little pirate site that you can go and clear pirates in. It's also known as ratting. Um, let me go back to the general here. Uh, you've done well. Let me try to figure out how to resize this bad boy. Okay, well, forget it. Um, you're now inside a cosmic anomaly. Normally these would be hostile, there would be hostile ships present, but our people have already cleared the area. All you need to do now is recover the proof of discovery document we left there. You can find one of them in, in the nearby training container. There it is, which we will approach. Actually, we'll just hit... By hitting open cargo, it'll take us... It'll actually do the approach anyway, so might as well just save yourself a button click. Uh, you only need a single document. It will serve as physical proof that you have passed this stage of the tutorial. Once you have it, bring it back to me and we can move on. Okay, that's good. So none of this has involved scanning yet, but this gives you a little taste of what you're doing. So to continue on, you'll have ore sites, combat sites, and they'll have a varying difficulty. Um, so, yeah, let's open that up. There we go. There's our proof of discovery. 
We'll loot it, and we're good to go. Um, in addition to those two, you'll see relic sites and data sites, and those are exploration-specific sites. Now, depending on the name or the type of site that it is, it may or may not actually have enemies in it. So I'm going to warp us back and take us home now that we got what we wanted. Active. But uh, generally speaking, the name here, I'm going to move this little tab over, will tell us a lot about what what we need to know. So like this Serpentis hideaway, as an example, tells us that it's Serpentis, so we know how to prepare our defenses and our ammunition before going there. I would guess that this is a random spawn because usually the training sites are, are missing enemies entirely. Docking permission so requested. Docking request accepted. here, I'm going to stop actually. Oh, no, we docked. All right, we'll do that in one of the next missions, but that's actually a, a good example. And <clears throat> there are a lot of online resources that you can go to if you see the name of the site, search the name of the site in Google, and it will tell you pretty much everything that you will face there. Much like the uh, evesurvival.org or .com, I think it is. Um, .org. Um, that sort of lays out missions for you. So that will tell you exactly what ships you're going to be fighting, what damage they do, what recommended damage you should do, and so on and so forth. So. We'll just open up our cargo hold to wrap up the mission, make sure we've got our proof of discovery anomalies, which we do. We got both check marks, and we're good to go. So that was really quick and easy. So that's uh, mission one of five for uh, the exploration career agent. And that was just a, <coughs> their, their mission names aren't like the same all the, all the way throughout, like cash flow for capsuleers or making mountains of molehills. So we'll have to sort of get into this a little bit, but <coughs> That was uh, one of ten, and, or one of five, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, but check out the links below. Swing by and check out uh, the website that I've been working on and running with some friends of mine. ErrantGamer.com, and that's E-R-R-A-N-T Gamer.com, and uh, I'm on Twitter at Vince's Gaming, and you found me on YouTube, so congratulations. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.